Hello everyone, this is Lori from Grammy's Keepsakes and I wanted to show you a couple of the results of my play. Um, you remember this wallpaper that I altered? For, and it looks just like a beautifully worn leather book. And so this one's going to become a journal and um, I love how it turned out. It's beautiful. And then here, let's find a place to put that so it's out of the way. And here is the other one that I did. And I almost finished her up. All I have left to do is put in a signature. And um, I'm gonna show you how I got to this point. I put a little charm on the end of some hemp and wrapped it around the button. Well, there we go. Wrapped it around a few times because I don't know how long it's going to be or how thick it's going to be yet. So I've got a lot of hemp. And then I just sewed on a um, old wooden button. That's one of the benefits of having in done a lot of sewing in the last 50 some years you accumulate a lot of good buttons and then I've stitched all the way around it and I put a fabric on the inside and this is one of the cutoffs and so it's going to be a pocket so the signature is going to be sewn in here in the little pocket and then it's going to flap over. So let's make another. So here I've got the other half of that wallpaper that I was playing with. And this is the one that I ended the video yesterday on um, where I was put the black on and I liked how the black turned out and so what I did was I just made a couple more layers of just the black and I've cut a piece of a hanging file folder this is a legal size so it's gonna fit this now we need to glue it together and I probably don't have enough glue yet. I've been playing and playing. So I'm going to use some of this um, tacky glue. You can just use any kind of glue you want. And well, if I can get it to come out, I buy it in this big bottle to refill my little one. So it's kind of handy. So I'm just going to put a glob or so in that. You don't need a lot. And then I'm going to put some water in it. And then we'll just stir it. And I just am thinning it out. I don't want it to be thick tacky glue. And I don't have any um, white glue at the moment, so thinned out tacky glue is going to work just fine. Just stir it and make a mess. Okay, now I'm just going to pour some on here. We can add more if we need it. And I'm going to use this um, spatula that I got from um, Colorway Arts. It's a cart cartonage tools. 
it's the set of spacers plus you get the spatula and I use these spacers all the time these orange ones and they come in so handy and she's on Etsy it's called colorway arts and it she has an Etsy store besides her dot com fast fast service and Claudia is a wonderful creator so let's go ahead and use this It's nice and flexible I love it and so I'm just going to spread the glue out I am making a mess my stick went into the glue the clean side went in first gotta love it right so I'm just spreading it so I have a thin layer all over I don't want it saturated but I want it all the way to the corners and I do need some more Probably not that much, but ooh, getting sticky. And I'm not worried too much about if it goes on the other side because after we apply the um, file folder to it, I can wash off the other side. That's the beauty of the tacky glue. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and just line up the corners. And the edges. And I use a brayer. Before I go off the edges, I want to go ahead and lift this up and wipe off my glue so I somewhat contain my gluey mess. Baby wipes come in so handy for this. And I got glue on this side. I knew I would because it wiggles, but it wipes right off. And we used a, a permanent waterproof ink when I did the distressing on here, so I don't have to worry about rubbing it off. That's kind of a nice thing. If we use just the plain distress inks, I don't think I'd be as lucky. Now I'm going to go ahead and just brayer the whole thing. And then here I have a little part where it's showing the back of the wallpaper from the file folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a little trim with the scissors. And it's kind of soft and a little bit curly. And that's because there's only one side of dampness. Once you put the other side glue on that side, it helps evens it out and it keeps it flatter. And 
And so here I've got this one that I did, and I've, this part is already dry. So I'm going to set this one aside for now so we can play on the back of this one. So we need some more of the glue. And we're going to spread it all over the file folder. thin layer Okay, and now because I'm going to put fabric down, I'm going to wipe this off, but for right now I'm going to set it aside and we'll grab a clean one. And here's the fabric I'm going to use. I've already dipped it in coffee and got it coffee dyed. And I'm going to put it down this way. And now I'm going to grab my wallpaper and place it down. Wipe off a little bit of the glue. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over, and before it dries or anything, let's get this rolled out. Okay, I'm just checking for lumps and bumps. It seems to be good. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim the fabric. And I'm not too worried about getting it real perfect right now because I'm going to stitch all the way around it. And it looks like this part wants to come up a little bit, so let's grab it with the glue quick. And 
I'm spreading it so that it doesn't seep through. That's a little better. So throw that away. Got some little nubbins here and there, but that's okay. We will get that after we stitch. So now I want the corners a little bit rounded. And so I'm going to use my corner chomper and this here you can see I had folded it so that's where that's going to be just a gentle fold and this is going to be the flap so on the flap I'm going to use the half inch side And it, the chomper does cut through the wallpaper and the file folder, but not the fabric. So then I use my little scissors and go in and trim the fabric off for the round. And then for the journal side, I'm going to use a quarter inch side and round that a little bit so I don't have a sharp corner. And go ahead and trim again. So there we got the start of our little journal. So let me move a couple things away and grab the sewing machine. Let's get rid of that too. bringing out the big guy today. And I've got a little piece of the cutoff. Get some of the glue off my fingers. There's a little piece of the cutoff. So what I'm going to do first is just go ahead and stitch on one side. There, had a ruler underneath it. Find my foot pedal.
move this aside a little bit. We're going to grab some masking tape. Can't really pin the wallpaper, can I? Okay. Oh, this is great. My pattern is upside down. I wasn't thinking there, was I? Well, that's okay. We're going with it. I, unless... Well, that'll work. Let's just do it that way. We'll fix it. So I'm going to just put it in the scoreboard. And I believe... Yes, it was five and a half. This is why we didn't do a real hard crease. Sure came in handy there, didn't it? Okay, but I still want that half inch round on the flap. So let's do that before we do our top stitching. Now you see in real life, nothing is ever perfect at this house. That's for sure. Crafting is an experiment every day. You never know what you come up with. That works much better. Okay, so here's our little pocket. And I want it to be in about six inches from that side because our seam is at the five and a half. And I don't want it binding in our signature at all. So I'm just kind of measuring, find the six inches, grab masking tape for my pins. Tape it down. And then down here on the bottom, I'm going to measure again to the six inches. It's a little bit crooked. Um, I am fussy like that. All right, this is good. Hold it down. And so now we have our pinning in place. Put the machine back. And I'm going to go ahead and sew. And hopefully there's room. Tight quarters on this desk.
Okay, so we've gone all the way around. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove that masking tape because we have to sew the bottom of that new little pocket. So this thread here is going to be the opening of the pocket. Here by the hinge is going we're going to sew that shut. Okay, that's all we need this for right now. Let's get rid of it. Make that go away. Now here we have our little pocket. And then we just need to have a button. And what I like to do is I measure it to find the half. It's going to be, it's seven and a quarter. Um, Let's use my our centering ruler. It should be about three and five eighths. Yep. Okay. And then we have to pick a button. And I've got a bunch of buttons already that we just need to decide which we like better. I know I don't want that one. I really don't think I, I like the way this green one looks, but I think it's too green and I'm not going for that look. So now it's between the wood one and this beige plastic. I think I'm going to go with the wood look because of our faux leather look and then it sticks to faux natural pot products. And so I'm centering my button. And then with this one, I think what I can do is just go ahead and poke through the eye. And if I can see that, yes, I can. I'm going to poke all the way through. So now my needle will have holes to go in. Oh, we don't want that peach one. And I'm using um, upholstery thread. Get my knot in the bottom of it. And I'm going to go through the top first and come back through the other side up here and I'm going to thread my needle between the threads and catch the knot. Now we're going to sew on the button. And I've already got 
the holes made so I can easy does it and we won't be poking a ton of holes through the wallpaper. We don't want to weaken it. I usually sew my buttons on with the machine, so this is a slow process, but it'll be on nice and strong. And the upholstery thread really helps. Okay. Now I'll just go under the threads a little couple times. Get those tight. Now I'm going to go back up through with a hole to the right side. and go between the wallpaper and the button. And you make yourself a thread shank a few times. And then tie a knot through those threads. And of course, it's going to be difficult while I'm on camera, right? And then I'm just going to snip off the thread. And I didn't end up using that white pencil. It usually comes in pretty handy. Put my needle back. Now we need some cording or ham or something. And I've got, I used this black one on that other one. I wonder if this one. I kind of like that variegated one. Let's do that. So we'll just, I tie a loop, wrap around the button, tighten her up, a double knot, clip off the excess, and I'm going to hit the knot with the art glitter glue, just to make sure. Then afterwards, I'm going to go through, you know, and trim all this extra fabric. And then to get the, the sides inked from the wallpaper from when we were cutting it so there's no white edges, I'm just going to take the same coffee-colored ink and hit it to knock off that white. And I'll do that all the way around. But let's determine our length. I'm going to go around, let's go around three times. We're going to wrap around our button. And then I've got these Tim Holtz charms to tie on the end.
my tape is hindering my fun. Okay, so I don't think I want a red one. Let's go with one of the gold ones. Let's do Destiny because we have... Oh, too bad Journey. Journey is silver. Because this can be a travel, if I can get it open again. See, with all that fun fabric, travel. So I'm thinking journey, it, silver though, or destiny. Wander is fun too. Oh, there's so many that can go with this. Let's wrap her up again. And wrap it around a couple times. So let's play. We're going to grab the destiny out of here. And journey. Let's grab that one too. That's the top one. Oh, the silver is not too bad. I do like that one though. We're going with Journey. Just let's do it. Okay, so we wrapped it around three times and we wrapped it around the button a couple of times. And we'll probably want it to hang around here. And it's going to change because we don't know how thick our journal is going to be, but at least I have an idea where to snip my hemp. So then we're going to untwist it and thread it through. Bring it up. And tie a knot. Get it big enough to get that thing through. Cut off the excess. And here we have another little journal. So that's fun. And I've got a couple of the other ones that we were going to play with. So let me grab my, my messy board again. Isn't that pretty fabric? It was white and I dipped it in the coffee cup and dried it out on the line. And so this is going to be the lining of this one. I think that's going to be so much fun. So I'm going to put those two together. But I had this one and this one from the other day, remember? And I decided that I'm going to put this one on the inside of this. And it's just going to fold in half. All my layers. And then when it opens up, we'll have this for our lining. And I'm going to put in some eyelets, I think, so that we can 
tied tie it shut that way and this pretty black one with the silver or the pewter I chose this upholstery fabric for the inside of this one so I think those are going to be gorgeous I always have to audition and try them out right And you're only going to be seeing half of it at a time, but I think that's just stunning. So I'm going to go ahead and put those together, and I'm going to follow the same methods. I'm going to just glue the back of the wallpaper, put on my file folder, glue again, and put on my fabric, trim it up stitch it around times two times three and this is the one that is going to have a flap and I haven't decided if I want the cover to be like that or like this yet I think I might go with this way. I like that, how they meet. It's the little things. So I'm going to play with those. And I'll be back tomorrow. And we'll do some more fun things. Have a great day. And happy creating.